It takes art, science, and a lot of luck to go from vine to fine. Americans sip and swirl with enthusiasm. According to Decanter magazine, the U.S. consumes the most wine in the world. But that could change, says sommelier Sarah Marshall. A lot of generations are shifting. Wine sales compared to beer, liquor, seltzers are in somewhat of a decline. And Wine industries are listening to that. Wine culture can also seem elitist, says Marshall, which begs the question. How do we make wine approachable? My, oh my, oh my. By boarding this tricked out mink green school bus, perhaps. What do we love to do to bring people together? So we kind of came up with the idea of gather, journey, dine. The Savory Lane is a New Hampshire-based mobile tour operator. Co-owners and sisters Lisa Galoni and Maria Chasevsky offer a tour of local vineyards. Our goal is to bring people to these locations to help support their businesses. Maria drives while Lisa hosts. Even their mom, Pat, is involved. She also makes all our baked goods for our charcuterie board. And then my daughter, Ava, she uh, does all our social media. On today's tour, Mill River Winery in Rowley, Massachusetts. First wine that you have is our Shades of Grey Rosé. This is inspired by Provence style rosés. A nice dry rosé with notes of strawberry and orange blossom in the finish. Donna Martin is Mill River's owner and winemaker. I'm a scientist by heart. I got a PhD in chemistry at the University of New Hampshire. After a career in academia and in business, Martin became fascinated with winemaking. It's a very nice white wine. We make wines from local grapes. We also source grapes from uh, premium regions around the world. And so people can come and get some wines they're familiar with, but they also get this opportunity to try the great local wines right now that are being served in Massachusetts. How's the wine? Top tier. And did we mention that the Savory Lane has onboard karaoke? So I've been told you're a bit shy. Yeah, not when it comes to karaoke. What happens? I come alive. Ain't no high enough. Yeah. This is a party bus. Yes. <laughs> you don't have a dance pole. What do you call it? A, you don't have a pole. <laughs> yeah. But not like your typical party bus. Where nobody's puking in the back. No, none of that. We are Turns out Freddie, that's the name of the bus, is all about family. So Freddie is our bus. Our grandmother, my mom's mom, her nickname was Freddie. And she was the first woman in our family to own her own business. What do you think about this vision and how it's come to life and what your daughters have been able to do? It has evolved into something just amazing. I'm very, very proud of it. Don't you know I heard it through the grapevine? That much longer would you be mine? Another fun and casual wine activity in Boston's Fenway neighborhood. It's really nice when we just want to get a drink after work with coworkers and be able to sit outside in the sun. The Station Wine Garden is a wine pop-up. We try to keep a price point that's accessible. We want people to be able to feel like they can come here, have a glass of wine. You know, it's not a lot of pressure and they just are on their way. Jyoti and Aaron Mehta are the husband and wife owners of the Wine Press, which has shops in the Fenway and Brookline. I was always a beer guy. I was really into spirits in college. I went to a local grocery store, I uh, picked up some food to cook, a $10 bottle of wine, and I was hooked. Now the Metas hope passerby have a similar epiphany at the station. Wine shouldn't be intimidating, they say. It kind of goes by what the mood you're in, you know, do I want something like light, easy and refreshing, or do I want something a little more complex? You try a bottle of wine, what did you like, what didn't you like about it? I think once you start putting too many labels to something and you're trying to calculate something specific, it, it removes the fun out of it. However, the Metas do notice a couple of wine trends. People are, you know, questioning, is this organic, is this biodynamic, is this sustainable? Customers are also buying orange wine made from white wine grapes with the skins left intact. So you get a little bit more tannin, you get a little bit more texture, you get a little bit more intensity of flavor. You would probably like the red we have now too. I'll get you a taste because we have it in the fridge. It's good like chill. 
No matter the wine, the Metas appreciate it all. I've always wanted the opportunity to talk to people as they're drinking about what they're drinking and how they feel about it. It's been a great opportunity to have that instant connection with customers. And Wine Press's Wine Garden pop-up runs through October. But there are plans, though, after that for more pop-ups, more events. Looks fun. Speaking of fun, Freddie the Bus, oh, all right, really? which does have heat, air conditioning, and a bathroom for those that might be wondering. But I will say the tour was so much fun. We were singing and dancing, as you saw, we, we saw in our seats. And Maria and Lisa, what a hoot. Yeah, they were great. They're having a good time. Yes. It's awesome. Coming up, waking up with wine.